Hey guys, Spirit Star here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some fun Play Doh. Um, if you hear someone scratching in the background, it's my puppy Coco Puff. Say hi, baby. Yeah, she's going to be helping me in the kitchen today. So, this is a super simple. Uh, I think you're only going to really need four ingredients for this Play Doh. So, um, let's get started, shall we? Oh, yeah, and by the way, super fun, and I will be doing a video of later today of. Um, little kids playing with some of this play-doh just to prove how fun it is and me and my Paul would do it too so yeah let's get started so these are all the ingredients you're going to need we've got one cup of flour one cup half a cup of salt and I'm making and I have four bowls of each because I'm making four colors one half cup of salt in half a cup of half a cup of water and food coloring. Um, so first, you're going to take the flour, pour it into your bowl, big mixing bowl, about like that. Then you're going to take some salt, the salt, and now for the water. The water is a bit different because. For the water, you're going to want to put some food coloring in the water. So, yeah, you know, just, you're going to do that. So, I just went on ahead and did that to all my colors. And I'm using gel food coloring, so I'm going to have to give each one a stir. Um, I put a lot of food coloring in because I want the colors to be very bright. And, you know, you can mix colors, too, if that's, that's what you want to do. But if you are mixing colors, I would recommend doing one fourth of a cup with one color and then one fourth with the other. So, yeah, now I'm going to pour in my coloring to my batter. Then you're going to stir it up and watch the magic happen. Feel like a chef when you do this. Feel like a chef. As you can see, it's starting to clump. But we want all that flour to go into there. And if it's sticky, which it will be once you start to play with it, um, then you're just going to want to add some flour. So, yeah. Then you're just going to um, kind of just want to grab it and work it into a ball and just kind of put it on a plate. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and put it all on a plate. Uh, and then I'll show you how to like knead it and make it less sticky. Just a sec. <laughs> Killer's just been wicking off all the flour from the floor. But um, so as you can see, I've got all my Play-Doh done. I've got, uh, so if it feels, you know, just kind of like Play-Doh, it's a little sticky. You can just add some flour. Uh, See, so my green, yellow turned out really well. Um, red is a little goopy, and blue is just a pile of goo. So for these two, we're going to want to add a bunch of flour. Uh, and don't be afraid to use a bunch of flour. It's not going to hurt it. So be right back when I'm done. So I ended up running out of flour um, and using cornstarch, and I'm just going to say it right now. It feels softer, but it's not sticky, which is great. So cornstarch is a good substitute for flour. See, this is kind of stiffer, but this is nice and soft. Very fun. So yeah, now you can just, you know, grab a lump and uh, play with it. Uh, and to store it, put it on a paper plate and then seal that up in a, like, gallon size Ziploc bag, and that'll preserve it for a long time. Or you can just, you know, throw it in there, but it's easier to remove if you have it on paper plate because then you can just pour it. So, yeah, if you enjoyed that video, um, please like, leave a friendly comment, and subscribe to Warrior Wolf123 for more videos and more Cocoa Bear. Hey, bye bye.